We are following developing news. People in our area taking to the streets this afternoon, calling for a permanent end to the Israel Hamas war. They held rallies near popular shopping spots as people went out for Black Friday. Our Katie Lusso followed these demonstrations in both DC and in Virginia. And Katie, these gatherings really did cause some traffic problems. Good evening. They certainly did, Simone, but tonight traffic is back to normal here along M Street in Georgetown. But for several hours, as you mentioned, people were out here protesting, not only though calling for a ceasefire, but calling for people to stop shopping. Free, free, Holding signs and waving the Palestinian flag. Free, free, a group made their way through the streets of Georgetown in D.C. Outside Tyson's Corner Center in McLean. A group shut down traffic. They targeted these popular shopping spots on Black Friday for a specific reason. Black Friday obviously is a really big consumer spending day. Oh, no, they want us to go back to normal. They want us to spend all of our money. And I just, there's no real reason to. It doesn't feel right also when there are so many people dying to just go out and spend our money like normal. Business cannot continue as usual and there, there will be um, resistance to that. They also want the United States to stop sending money to Israel and want a ceasefire. <laughs> Calling for an immediate, unconditional ceasefire. It's really just a hopeless situation already. We just want to stop the destruction and save as many lives as possible because every day there isn't a ceasefire. There's hundreds and thousands of more Palestinians dying for no reason. There's people with hopes and dreams now trapped under rubble, uh, no access to food and water. And like when you really sit with that thought, it weighs heavy on your heart and your mind. These two also said they also have another message. Help you understand that. Being pro-Palestinian doesn't mean that you're anti-Semitic. Um, there's so many really amazing Jewish groups that are um, being vocal about the Palestinian cause, and it doesn't it doesn't mean that you're discounting um, Jewish lives or um, Israeli lives. It's really just you know fighting for Palestinian lives and and saying that no one should be killed senselessly. And just in the last hour, I checked in with both D.C. police and Fairfax County police, and they tell me there were no arrests at either of the protests. In Georgetown, I'm Katie Lasso, WUSA 9. All right, Katie, thank you. Appreciate your reporting tonight. We should also point out these rallies were part of a much larger effort nationwide. As you can see, people also gathered near shopping malls and other stores in New York City and in Los Angeles.